Welcome back to Jimbo's Barbecue Hacienda. Simple, crowd-pleasing recipes for your grill. I'm Jim Haas. Thanks for hanging. Today we're going to do a dessert that cannot miss. It's a grilled dump cake with cherry pie filling. Uh, I just can't even explain how good this is. Check it out. Right then, the grilled dump cake. It has become quite the favorite with, uh, with our neighbors, <laughs> particularly. Um, we're going to go with cherry pie filling today. Usually apple is my go-to, but uh, this is what I had in the pantry, so we're going to roll with cherry. Um, all you're going to need is a fruit pie filling of your choice, three cans, uh, foil pan, about that size, unsalted butter, white cake mix, some kind of non-stick cooking spray, and that's it. This is going to be so simple, you will not even believe it. And let's put it all together. Start with spraying the inside of the foil pan with a non-stick cooking spray. Then empty all three cans of the fruit pie filling into the foil pan. You can then spread it around with the back side of a spoon making it somewhat even, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now take the entire bag of the white cake mix, that's right, the entire bag. Dump it over the top of the fruit pie filling. And again, you can now spread it around with the spoon. Now with your unsalted butter, you wanna slice them into about quarter inch pieces if you can. Uh, try not to go any bigger than about a half inch. And then take your pieces of sliced butter and cover the top of the cake. We will be cooking on high heat, so preheating is very important. Be sure to preheat your grill, set the dump cake on the grill, close the lid, and set your timer for eight minutes. I find that usually this whole process takes about 20 minutes, about the average time it takes on my blaze grill to get this thing to cook all the way through but every time you do check it every eight minutes or so eight to ten minutes is usually a good interval give that cake a spin ensuring it's getting evenly heated uh, but what we're looking for is a deep rich brown on the top the butter will be completely melted in the top will kind of crust up really nicely and the filling will start to bubble up through the top as well I mean mm, there you go very important, let this cool down <laughs> for a while, okay? Speaking from experience, let it cool down, we're going to dig in. All right, now, this is good on its own, uh, maybe even with a little uh, caramel over the top, drizzled over the top. Um, I'm not a big dessert person, but this, when you get that nice crispy top of this whole thing and check it out we're gonna put some ice cream on top of this I mean you just can't beat it you can't beat it just a little bit self-control see so I'll tell you what moment of truth here it is now, I know how good this is gonna be the soft inside that crunchy crusty top you just have to try it for yourself what can I say and the cherry works I'll tell you what I like the tartness of the cherry filling this might be the new go-to Jimbo's barbecue hacienda I'm Jim Haas thanks for hanging out once again life is short eat well and enjoy yourselves and for Pete's sake listen to good music see you next time cheers